Hey, what's up, you guys? Interceptor King here. I'm just gonna do a quick little comparison. I'm driving this uh, twin turbo all-wheel drive. It's the uh, EcoBoost Ford Interceptor sedan. Um, that's a 5.7 liter Hemi Dodge Charger. It's a 2013. These are both 2013s. And a uh, 2012 Chevy Caprice. Now, the Chevy Caprice is the lowest priced vehicle and they're pretty rare they were made in uh, Australia anyways you can go to interceptorking.com for current inventory this all-wheel drive twin turbo EcoBoost Ford Interceptor sedan is the quickest car out of all three of these cars. I did a 40, about a 45 mile per hour roll against the Chevy Caprice and it was in the sport mode, a little button you push and the traction control stuff was all turned off. Stepped on it, I was driving the Caprice, somebody else was driving the Ford Interceptor. That Ford Interceptor left the Caprice in the dust, but it's also, a much less priced vehicle and all the Chevy you know all the Chevy freaks are gonna want the Caprice obviously all the Ford freaks are gonna want the Ford Interceptor so for an extra $379 you can increase the horsepower by 80 or by 60 horsepower on the Ford Interceptor or by 70 horsepower if you go with the 92 octane um, and it's already pushing 365 that's rated at 3 355 the uh, Dodge Charger is rated at 370 but that's the quickest one. Chevy Caprice, I'm only asking $89.50 for this at the time of this recording, and this is, uh, I'm asking $14.9 for this. And this only has 47 or 40, yeah, 47,000 miles on it. This has 112. So, better looking car, I'd have to give it to the Ford Interceptor. And it left that it left that Caprice in the dust. The Caprice has a six liter six liter V8 versus a 3.5 liter twin turbo, all wheel drive. So when it's dry out, it's quicker. When it's wet out, it's going to be even more. It's going to be even quicker than that because this is rear wheel drive. The uh, the Dodge Charger with the 5.7 liter Hemi is also rear wheel drive. I haven't had an all wheel drive one of those yet. So anyway, out of these two cars, that thing ate the Caprice up on the highway. And if you, it, from a dig, from a, you know, from starting at zero miles per hour, that thing's gonna get off the line quicker than rear wheel drive because it's all wheel drive. So anyways, 8950, 14.9, that, uh, Charger is only ten thousand five hundred dollars with the five point seven liter Hemi. So if I had to choose, and money was no money didn't matter, I'd go with the Ford Interceptor sedan because for an extra three seventy nine, I can increase the horsepower by sixty. It's already at three sixty five. This you can put a few thousand dollars into it, make it faster than that. But you're talking about a lower priced vehicle that's not worth as much as that, and you know all the money you put into the, the uh, Caprice, you're not gonna get back if you just you know this is already a, a more valuable vehicle than the caprice as far as vehicles go because it's all-wheel drive it's got the rear view camera system the backup monitoring system and the blind spot monitoring system so anyway if you're on if you got a, a budget of eight or nine grand go for the caprice if you got more money get the uh, ford interceptor but you know Mileage plays a lot into that too. That's only got 47,000 miles. That's got 112, so go figure. But this is just a uh, nicer car. I've been doing this for 16 years. I've only had three of these Ford Interceptors with the twin turbo EcoBoost. None of them have ever came with that factory console. This one has the wheel covers over the uh, cop rims. That Dodge Charger. It's has a brand new paint job on it, fully functional Ram air hood. Has some wheel covers over the uh, cop rims also. And uh, 
don't know. I'd go with the uh, the Ford Interceptor or this Dodge Charger. If you like rear wheel drive, most of these are rear wheel drive. These Chargers, but sharp car. So there you go. Out of the three vehicles, the Caprice is the slowest. From the factory, it's rated at 155 miles per hour. That's rated at 150. Five miles per hour, big deal. You can override that by retuning it with a, uh, a chip. And for 60 more dollars, or $379, you can get 60 more horsepower out of that with all wheel drive. So anyways, these were made in Australia. They quit making them in 2017. So, anyways, you guys have a great day. InterceptorKing.com for current inventory. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Bye.